And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 2. I'm your host, the RPG guy. Goldies but oldies, baby. So we already did Ashley's little intro, and now we've got to choose between our two little characters here. The whore or the fister. We'll go with this guy. A former hero, now war criminal. God damn, what is he, like the Hitler of the West or something? Let's find out the details. Five years ago, or in ancient times. <laughs> what do we got here? That's strange, I thought we chased him in here. You thought wrong. <laughs> I'm not here at all. Did you say that? No, did you say that? He's here. Just kidding. Terrible joke. Terrible joke. Sorry, I'm actually drinking something because my throat's kind of dry. <coughs> and it has liquor in it, so what can I say? Nothing like taking cheap sake and throwing it in a cup full of Pepsi, right? Sexy, I call it. Sec. Soxy. 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 That's what I'm going to call it. It's a Soxy cocktail. Are they gone? This reminds me of that other time when I forgot the lube. Yes, blood did get spilled. But in an era of delusions, if someone doesn't stand up, even more blood will be shed. It's a bloody mess. Don't delay a second. Okay, so these are obviously flashbacks. Unless this guy has a sight condition that requires him to see everything in gold. Lots of questions, no answers. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so you can name him whatever you want, but we're gonna just stick with Brad, because why not? It's Brad Evans. You know, I wish I could have called one of these characters first name and last. I wanted him to be Jack Daniels. That would have been awesome. It would have been amazing. Alright, so we're now in control. Yay! So, let's take a look at it, Brad here. Brad is definitely the melee muscle of your party. He, like... Ashley, he also has an arm, but his is heavy arm, <laughs> and he's got a really neat skill called lock on, which we exploit the hell out of throughout the throughout the game. At least I do. I don't know about you, but I do. And heading heading the other way is just a dead end, so you may as well go this way anyway. Um, let me see here. Okay, there's the, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. There's a tree with a bunch of diamond, uh, little he, uh, heal diamonds around it. Healing diamonds or crystals around it. Healing crystals. And there should be some heal berries in the area, so that's that's all. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, I hate berg heasts. They hit pretty hard. And right now, they still take two shots to take down. When Brad gets to level two, though, they die in about one, one round. Which isn't such a big deal. Whatever you do, never use your ammo. And usually Howl is them wasting a turn, as far as I'm concerned. Uh. Yeah, waste that turn, bitch. I think it, it gives them a, a stat boost, but sometimes, it, as you can see, it misses. Which is probably a good thing. And since we got a heal berry, we'll make sure we use it. ASAP. All right, come on, come on. Even though we're about to get a heal berry right now. Um. Okay, so there's our heal berry. There should be another heal berry around these parts. 
I just didn't mean to grab that. <laughs> the catch is finding it. There it is. It's hidden behind shit. Okay, make sure we want to get Brad to level two. It's really important that we do that. You know. Um, there's a boss fight, obviously, in this prologue. There's a boss fight in every prologue. And usually they use that boss fight to get you up that last level you need, you know. Just as a rule of thumb. Um, go this way first. As we get another strength apple, which I will not use yet. It'll end up either going to Ashley or to Brad, if you're wondering. And most likely it'll go to Brad. And the reason why the strength apples usually end up going to Brad... Ooh, these guys are cool. Um, usually the reason they end up going to Brad is Brad uses a lot of more of his melee attacks than anything. He doesn't really get any special abilities in the game at any point other than better heavy arm weapons. And that's it. So, with that said, you rely a lot on his melee attack for damage. So some people will say Brad's kind of the worst character by endgame. I don't agree with that necessarily because he's got the most health. He's usually got the highest defense. Um, so he's a nice character in there if you need someone to pop items. Um, you know, a turn before it's, you know, detrimental. And really, I just take him in there with full FP and just blast the shit out of him. Pull him out for someone else. That's just a preference. So the, the spawns are cool because they can drop a revive fruit. So it is recommended by a lot of people myself included and I recommend it if you're not really good at this game go and stay in the woods and fight a whole bunch of those spawn enemies just because they give you those free uh, free items we're almost gonna level here which is good and we need a level as we head down through this path you notice I didn't even have to do anything um, with boxes big heads up with boxes always throw them where they land on ground that you can reach because I guarantee you there are items in boxes. And if you throw those boxes in areas you cannot reach, then you won't be able to grab the item that's there. As you can see, we got a heal berry. I cannot stress that enough. I've had friends of mine tell me how they hate that the boxes they have items in it. And if you don't throw it where you can grab it, oh, I couldn't grab it. It's like, no, you're an idiot. It's not the game being stupid. You're an idiot and need to own up to you being an idiot. Uh-oh. Our defenses are down! Not a big deal. And again, you cannot buy... I don't believe you can buy... Well, you might actually might be able to buy revive fruits. No, I don't think so. I think you gotta grow those too. We'll know as soon as we get to our first town. Usually just easier for... I should have said that at the beginning. We'll know when we get to the first fucking town. Alright, let's finish them off. We should be able to finish them. And now Brad's level. Nice. He should now be able to take these guys out in one round. Strength should have been boosted up enough. Should be coming to that house. Oh no, not yet. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> of the Slayheim Liberation Army. Good for you. Okay, so make sure before you drop down this thing, and I don't suggest being in sprint mode while you do it, carefully drop down here. And grab that vitality apple. I can't stress how useful those are, so make sure you grab it. Grab it! Um, again with the boxes. Again with the boxes! Oh my god! <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Heal berry. Can't get enough of them heal bears. Now we should be coming up to that that goofy looking house. Oh, I forgot about him. No, uh, yeah, because you get a very important item from him much later in the game. I know I'm ruining it by just saying it now. I don't really care. It's not a big deal. Well, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Brad pops on back out. Uh, 
going to get a free heel berry for our troubles. No, the dog does not join the party. In case you were wondering. Did you get any fresh ideas? Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. So, yeah, I didn't think so. Eh, I don't need to fight anything right now. Already level two. Um, okay, here's, here's the house. Alright. First things first. rusted so we gotta go in and there's a save point in here but more importantly and we get a set Brad's tool which are the kick boots they're not just good for kicking ass and chewing bubblegum no they're good for other things too specifically knocking things over and moving things around you'll see the the kick boots get a lot of use throughout the game in some respects I find myself using the kick boots tool a little bit more than any of the other tools in the game. For some reason, it's like half the puzzles are all kick boot requirement style things. So, alright, let's keep moving. Now for this, head over here. We are Now, here there's a chest. With a big beret. It's always good. Come all the way first full circle we'll get ourselves another chest with I think a bullet clip in it. It's either a bullet clip or a strength apple, but I think it's a bullet clip. It shouldn't be a strength apple, we've already done that. So Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. My memory for every single absolute item is never that good. And we get a bullet load for trouble. Alright, let's just see where's Brad's status right now. Okay, he's good, yeah. Alright, let's head out. As we're forced into another battle. Do, do, do. But as you notice, we're now one-shotting pretty much most of the enemies here, so it's not a big problem at this moment. Get 16 glorious Della. Glorious, I tell you, glorious! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and keep moving. Over this way. Nothing in those two little ones. There should be one more box. There should be another healberry in this. There's gonna be this box coming up that's all by itself. And make sure you throw it where you can give it, because it'll be a healberry. A lot of people skip it, so just as a heads up. Um the only reason I keep mentioning my friends who skip those items is it's it's just it's it's a, it's just, it's funny because um, I was sitting watching one of my buddies play this game and he just wanted me to watch him because I have a lot of friends who like I'm their human you know game guide you know so I just sit there and go you missed that you missed that you missed that you didn't do that you didn't do that and they're like oh man when I, you tell me what to do it's like game is like ten times easier but it's such a pain in the ass sometimes to do what you you're asking me to do. It's like, no, it's a little time-consuming, but it's not a pain in the ass. It shouldn't be. Anyway. Okay, it's one of these. Okay, no, it's not. It's, oh, I said it earlier. It's the one that's all by its lonesome. Here it is. I throw it away from the front and sit in case you don't, you know, for whatever reason, mess it up. All right, so here's where you need to kick boots one more time in order for you to get across. The other thing, too, is you could get Brad and the, the other characters whose intro we haven't done yet. You could get you could arguably get both of them to, like, level 4, even. And that's a pretty good place, too, to have them. But you don't need... It's not necessary. Um, I'm probably just going to push them to 3, and that's it. Because that's really all they need. So, there's a lot of people with different perspectives on how you, quote-unquote, you're supposed to do it. Or how you should do it. It's like, shut up. Play the game however the fuck I want. Um, but there are perks to doing it in a certain way, so, eh, for w what it's worth. Alright. Let's go ahead and head out. Um, let's keep hitting south. Pick these boys up along the way. Or maybe a very pale degenerate. 
says that we haven't been told anything, and there's no need for us to know either. Hmm. The more you know. <laughs> t -Bock. I'm sorry, that's just a funny sounding name to me. Alright, there's no order here. Interesting. And villages usually mean neat places to hide. Not good. And guess what? Brad's gonna bust an Ashley. Yeah, let a man handle this. Just saying. As we are thrown into the battle against whatever this is. I know what it is. I'm just trying to pretend. <sighs> the Parasite Colony Monster Gremlkin. Is it like a... The kin of a gremlin? Yeah, whatever. Anyway. What you're going to want to do is... This is like Ashley's fight, except there's only two body parts instead of three. Um, the belly and the Gremlkin itself. You want to weaken that belly as best as you can. It's got about 200 HP. Maybe 225, 250. I don't think it's got 250. But you want to weaken it as quickly as possible. Because what ends up happening is once you deactivate the belly, he's going to just literally sit there and hit you with like roaring bursts over and over and over again. And that thing does like 30 to 37 damage. It can fuck up your day. So... It is recommended that you wear his belly down first, and then go for the, the main body. So we should be at about 140 in the damage area, 130 something, 140. So another 70 would put us at like 210, 225. I'm gonna re I'm gonna hold off on doing that. So let's go ahead and go to Brad's bazooka. Now bazookas, the heavy weapons are not as accurate as Ashley's weapons. So Brad comes with this thing called Lock-On. It pretty much guarantees 100% hit. Let's use it on the Gremel Kim and keep track of how much damage we do with it. Booyah! Uh, 233. Ooh, yeah. Ouch. So that was 233. This'll be more. <laughs> 52, so that'll be, it'll be four something most likely. 466 maybe. Yeah, 466. So another rocket will kill him there. We should have enough rockets to just finish him out, outright. I heal anything under 40 because of that roaring burst doing 30 to 37. We also only have 25 FP so we're going to melee the body, the belly. Um, for right now. Chestbuster's his weakest attack, so being hit by that's always a good thing. Yeah, six damage. You can keep that attack, buddy. Fatty, fatty, boomer laddie, just the way he roll. He is so large around the waist, he cannot see his toe. Yeah, just bust me again, bitch. I don't care. Waste your turn. Practically. Okay, this should finish off the belly. Which means he's going to start using Roaring Burst in Paris, uh, Roaring Burst or Chestbuster. So he can no longer use the Parasite Battalion attack, which he only used once anyway. And, and whatever. Oh no, his belly's still there. Okay, so maybe another hit. Should be dead. Not it has more HP than I remember. Might that might be the case too, you know? No, oh, belly's still there. It's got more HP than I remember. There, I'm sure we probably got it now because he's using the Roaring Burst. That doesn't mean anything, but it's more likely. Oh, his belly is still fucking there. Should be dead already, the belly. There we go. Now he's going to start spamming Roaring Burst. But then we start spamming, after we heal, we start spamming Lock On Bazooka. Fuck this dude up. Alright, heal. 
Mm-mm-mm, tastes like healing. No! And so go ahead. Walk on, head. You don't want to use all of your rockets. Just saying up front, because there's a thing that comes up later. Anyway, boom, shakalaka, biatch. Lots of monies, lots of a little bit of a level there, and a big berry find. Awesome. Holy shit, it's like real awesomeness. And here comes the jackasses. <sighs> Sorry, opening. Let me grab my bottle here of sake. Pour a little of that. Cup. Pour in the soda. It's gonna be delicious. Delicious cocktail hour. I need a place to hide. I'll give you a place to hide. Bend over. All right. Well, before we go and waste time going straight to town, there are random battles out here, just as a heads up. You don't need to fight them, though. So, we're already level 3. I'm happy with that. You should be happy with that, too. We get a resistance apple. That's one of the things in this game is the overworld item searches. So, we got this is the first sign. Tells us kind of where to go. Don't worry about that. We don't need care. The next one is about here. Kind of tell because the grass is actually discolored where it's going to be, and it just tells you northwest from here. And in order to find the village, you've got to actually literally find it. So yeah, it's not just, you know, uh, oh, where is it? You've got to physically go to the location and find it, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people who have issues with that, and they're like, oh, the game's too hard because I have to run around the overworld all the time looking for stuff. Uh, it's so hard. Uh, uh, shut the fuck up and do it. It's not that hard. Panty, pampered gamers, I call them. Little bitches. Wild Arms games are great. Um, especially the early ones. Specifically the early ones, rather. <laughs> and there's the village. t -bock. I wonder if they got a T-Bock steak. <laughs> da -da I took an arrow to the knee. My career as an adventurer is over. up. Hey, I was having a good dream till you woke me up, bitch. In a stable. In a barn! He is my friend. He worships me. Doesn't matter what your answer is, by the way. You can call him whatever you want. His default name is Rasu. Or Ras- yeah, Razu. Could be Fuck You, but we'll just leave it as Razu for now. I like that name. Don't worry, we're gonna turn you into dog food in a little bit. Rasu, kill! Sicker! Sicker, eater! We need food. She's like, damn right. A 
Okay. Sounds like douchebaggery is going on outdoors. Eh, figures. Well, there's a lot of things I realize, but it doesn't mean I believe it. He is old, that's the problem. Brad, you're old. At least it's not Bob Evans. I hate those restaurants. They taste like ass. Ooh, the stare down. I like how the soldiers back off. I don't know why they think the villagers will get hit. I'm a good shot. I gotta rob bazooka. They'll just blow them all into oblivion. Uh, whatever. Fine. Not gonna Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger it, buddy. Bad man, <laughs> you got it all wrong. Now listen, young lady, that man is a hero. A hero who's worth a fortune. <laughs> oh, I pooped myself. Sorry, I just don't really care for that character at all. Don't worry, you don't ever actually see him again. It's just a reference joke. Uh, if I kept on going, all I would find is more blood and death. This is like a menstruation problem. Oh boy, there are a few places for someone whose only true home is on the battlefield. What, you don't have an Arby's where you live? Well, most of those people I find are. <laughs> Consider this a vacation, after all, heroes aren't needed once the shooting stops. Oh yeah, I guess there's some truth to that. I'm not gonna get into that, I really am not. It needs no heroes and that has to be better. It doesn't have to be anything, jackhole. Dun, dun, dun. And we'll go ahead and make our save. So that concludes the intro with Brad Evans. Sometimes I like to call him Bob. It's easier. And there's only one character to play through left. And so on the next episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 2... The last prologue. Yeah, there's three prologues in this game. I have a feeling it's going to be a long haul. We'll see you there.